a very good afternoon and welcome to my course basic electronics engineering this course is generally made for undergraduate level BTEC degree students of second year third semester myself gopal chakravarti assistant professor department of physics greater kolkata college of engineering and management baripur a college under gis group educational initiatives so students you can personally meet me at college premises ground floor physics lab you can also send me your doubt and query in the given mail address that is god physics 6 at the rate gmail.com or kopal dot chakraborty underscore g k c e m at the rate j i s group dot o r g students i have a youtube channel the link is given here you can go through my youtube page as i have already uploaded lots of videos as per your mark out syllabus you please go through that videos and if you feel any doubt any queries feel free to contact me now the course pages are www.markoutexam.net and www.markoutwb.ac.in the syllabus for this subject is already uploaded in the university website so the link is given here yes, students if you want you can download the syllabus through the given link the title of the course is basic electronics engineering the subject code is ecs301 es ece301 it is under the category of engineering science course it has a credit free three lecture per week this course is generally made for btec degree students of second year third semester so apart from all other departments only the student of mechanical engineering has to study this subject as a part of their curriculum for second year third semester now uh, the topic that i am going to discuss is basic of transistor amplifier it is also under the module 3 that is timing circuits and its operations oscillators prerequisite for this topic is the elementary idea of semiconductor physics the course objective is to provide an overview of basics of basic electronics engineering and the basics of transistor amplifier so after completion of this topic student will able to understand the principle of basics of transistor amplifier
Now, transistor amplifier. Amplifier is a circuit that is used for amplifying a signal. The input signal to an amplifier will be a current or voltage and the output will be an amplifier amplified version of input signal. An amplifier circuit which is purely based on a transistor or transistor is called a transistor amplifier. Transistor amplifier are commonly used in application like RF, radio frequency, audio, OFC, optical fiber communication, etc. Anyway, the most common application we see in our day to day life is the usage of transistor as a audio amplifier. As you know, there are three transistor configuration that are used for commonly therefore common base CB common collector CC and common emitter CE in common base configuration has a gain less than unity and uh, and the emitter follower has a gain that positive and greater than unity. So, common emitter configuration is most commonly used in amplifier circuit and its application. So, in this application, we learn more about transistor amplifier. Next one. While knowing about different circuits for P uh, for RC coupled amplifier, it is uh, important to know about transistor basics as an amplifier. The three configurations of the bipolar transistor that are commonly uh, used are common base transistor and common emitter register that is CE and common collector transistor that is CE and only other transistor operational amplifier can also be used for application purpose. Now common emitter configuration is commonly used as uh, commonly configuration has been that can be used as that has a gain that is positive and also greater than unity in this configuration the emitter is connected to ground and has the high input impedance. Now, secondly, uh, output impedance will be minimum and most of these type of transistor amplifier applications are commonly used in RF communication and optical fiber combination OFC. The common base configuration has a gain less than unity. In this configuration the collector is connected to the ground. We have low output impedance and high input impedance in the common base configuration. Common collector configuration is also known as emitter follower because 
the input applied to the common enter emitter across appears across the output of the common collector. In this configuration, the input high input impedance and also has a gate gain almost equals to unity. Next one, basic parameters of transistor amplifier. We need to consider the following specifications before choosing an amplifier. A good amplifier must have all the following responsibility or independence. It should have a high input impedance. It should high have high stability. It must have high linearity. It should have high gain and bandwidth. It must uh, have high frequency and high efficiency. A good transistor amplifier must have the following parameters that high input impedance, high bandwidth, high gain, high sleeve rate, high linearity, high efficiency and high stability. The above given parameters are explained in the next section. So input impedance. Input impedance is the impedance seen by the output voltage source when it is connected to the input of the transistor amplifier. In order to prevent the transistor amplifier circuit from loading the input voltage source, the transistor amplifier circuit must have high input impedance. Now, uh, the frequency graph. Here, the range of frequency that an amplifier can amplify proper properly is called bandwidth of that particular amplifier. Usually, the bandwidth is measured based on half per point. Therefore, uh, the points where the output power becomes false because half and peak output power in the frequency versus output graph. Its simple work bandwidth is the different between the travel and uh, upper half power point. The best, the bandwidth of a good audio amplifier must be from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz because that is the frequency range that is audible. In the figure here that is given, you can see if it is clearly visible to you. The point at P1 and point at P2 are the towel and upper half power points respectively. Next, gain. Gain of an amplifier is the ratio of output power to the input power. It represents how much an amplifier can amplify to a given signal. So, uh, now give an example, simple example expressed in the number or in decimal. Given the number is expressed by the situation that is equation G equals to P out by P in. In decibel the gain is expressed by the equation 
gain is dp equals to 100 dot p out by p in here port is proper uh, power output and pin is the power input gain can be also excess in terms of output voltage or input voltage of the other of them so voltage gain is uh, decibel can be expressed using the equation that is F e is in dB that is equal to 20 log V out by V in and current gain in circuit that is dB can be expressed using the equation A that is 20 uh, I out by I in derivation of gain G equals to 10 log P out by P in. Let P out equals to V square by V square out by R out. Therefore, uh, that is equals to V square in by R in, where V out is the output voltage, V in is the input voltage. So, P out is the output power and P in is the input power, R in is the input resistance, input voltage and R out is the output resistance. Now substituting all this value equation 1 gives you capital G equals to 10 log V out square by R out whole divided by V in square by R in let uh, R out equals to R in then the equation 2 becomes R uh, now G equals to 20 log V out square by V in square so G equals to 20 log V out by V in now efficiency Now, efficiency of an amplifier represents how efficiently the amplifier utilizes the proper supply. In the simple word, it is a measure of how much power from the power supply is useful converted to the output. Efficiency of uh, is usually expressed in percentage and the equation is zeta equals to p out by p in into 100 where zeta is the efficiency now p out is the power output and p s is the power drawn from the c power supply now uh, stability. Stability is the capacity of an op amp amplifier to resist oscillations. These oscillations may be high amplitude ones masking the un useful signal and very low uh, that is amplitude high frequency oscillation in the spectrum. Usually stability uh, problems occur during the high frequency operation choose the uh, 20 kilohertz in the case of audio amplifier adding z uh, that is zobel network and output providing negative feedback etc improves the overall stability Now, slew rate. Slew rate of an amplifier is the maximum rate of change of output per unit time. It represents how quickly the output of an amplifier can changes in response to the input. Thus, in simpler word, it represents the speed of the of an amplifier. Slew rate is usually represent 
therefore v voltage per microsecond as the equation is very small luminity and amplifier is said to be linear if there is a linear relationship between the input power and the output power it represents the flatness of gain 100% linearity is not possible practically as the amplifier using active device like VJT uh, FET MOSFET tends to lose gain at the high frequencies due to the internal parasitic capacitance in audition through this the input DC uh, decoupling capacitors uh, now noise noise refers to unwanted and random distribution in a signal in a simple work it can be said by the unwanted infatuations or technologies mm, are frequencies present in the small it may be due to design flaws, component failure and external internal resistance due to uh, the interaction of the two more signal parents in system or by virtual of certain component and used in the circuit output voltage swing output voltage swing is the maximum range up to which the output of an op amp could swing it is measured between the positive peak and negative peak and in sine single supply amplifier it is measured from positive peak to the ground it is usually depends on the factor like supply voltage biasing and component rating now uh, what is rc coupled amplifier a rc uh, resistance uh, capacitance coupled amplifier is basically a multi stage amplifier circuit usually uh, used in electronic circuit here the uh, here the electronic circuit so here the individual stages of the amplifier are connected together usually uh, using trader using a resistor capacitor uh, combination due to which it bears its name as rc coupled now common emitter rc coupled amplifier is one of the simplest an elementary transistor amplifier that can be made during the now uh, this is the circuit diagram you it will be very much helpful to you now you just go through that circuit and try to remember at the last page now if designed properly the amplifier can provide excellent signal Characteristic: the circuit diagram of a single stage common emitter, emitter RC coupled amplifier using transistor is shown below. Now, capacitor C in is the input DC decoupling capacitor which blocks any DC component if present in the input signal from reaching Q1 base. The if any external DC voltage reaches the base of the Q1, it is uh, differentiating uh, by the but the R1 and R2 or the biasing capacitor. The network provides the transistor Q1 based with the necessary bias voltage to drive it uh, into the active region. The region of operation where the transistor is completely switched off is called cutoff region and the region of operation where the transistor is commonly uh, switch off is called cutoff region hence the region of operation where uh, region of operation where the uh, 
transistor is completely switch off is called cutoff region and the region of the operation where the transistor is completely switch on is called saturation region the region in between cutoff and saturation region is called active region now figure 2 for better uh, better uh, understanding Now, design of RC coupled amplifier. The design of single stage RC coupled amplifier is shown here. The nominal value for collector current IC and HFE can be obtained from the data sheet of the transistor. Now, design of RE and CE. Let the voltage RE VRE that is equal to 10 percent of VCC and voltage across RC that is VRC equals to 40 percent of VCC. The Remaining 50% will drop across the collector emitter. So, in this similar way, you can find out all the necessary components. Now, uh, this is an excellent circuit. The AC component of the signal is coupled to the second stage of the RC coupled amplifier through the coupling capacitor CC and thus appears as an input at its base of the second transistor Q2. Now what are the advantages of RC? The advantages of RC coupled amplifier include cheap, economical and compact as it uses only the resistor and capacitor and offers a constant gain over a, uh, over a wide industry base band. Now the disadvantage of a RC coupled amplifier is generally called the disadvantage of RC coupled amplifier includes the unsuitable for low frequency amplification, low voltage and power gain as the effective resist load resistance is uh, reduced due to the fact that the input uh, of each each surge resistance uh, uh, that is here now here the disadvantage is low voltage and power gain as the effective load resistance reduced due to the fact that the input of the each stage represents a low resistance to the next stage Third, the moisture sensitive making them noisy as the time lapse. Po for next one, that is poor impedance patching as it has the output impedance several times larger than the device and its end terminal. Narrow bandwidth when correction uh, when compared with the JF8 amplifier. Now here some applications of RC coupled amplifier. It is a uh, RF communication, optical fiber communication, public address system, uh, preamplifier and controller, radio and TV receiver as a small signal amplifier. Now, these are the possible books that you can refer. Now, uh, the evaluation process is same. Students have to appear for 70 marks in semester exam and 30 marks as an internal exam, out of which 15 for exam, 10 for assignment, and 5 for attendance. So, hope all of you have enjoyed today's class. In the next class, I will going to start oscillator circuit. So, thank you.